How different is it to be a coach in the G League as opposed to colleges in a nutshell? Well, a lot of differences. I think yeah, the professional game, like we, you talked, uh, we talked last year about, it's just such a different game. And it was a big learning curve for me when I went to Toronto a few years ago. Uh, the game is so different. There's so many more possessions. So in regard to style of play in the game in and of itself, completely different game. I think at this level, more so than the NBA, you have to have a nice blend of the college environment and the pro environment because pro environment wise, schedule is so taxing that you have to give them more rest. You do have less practice time. College, you know, you're grinding, you're only playing twice a week, so practices are longer, they're more physical. Now, early season practices, we're treating like college practices mm -hmm. right now. But once you get into that pro season, the G League 50 games, you're playing three games a week, you have to be smart and balance that uh, between the two. When you are a coach of an affiliate program, how do you work between what it is that you do as the coach as opposed to what, uh, what Coach Casey has and the style that the Pistons have and the style with what the players you are presented? How do you get all that to blend? Well, I would say it's about 80 to 90 percent what the Pistons do. You know, Coach Casey has been a great mentor to me. I was around the Pistons and their staff all summer, summer league, then out in LA for five weeks and four weeks of mini camp and training camp with them. So we're going to do predominantly what the Pistons do.